Hey, hey Capricorn, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your April 2024 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you're new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Capricorn, welcome. It does look like you are going through a situation where you're opening up to support. You're opening up to the idea of having help or the idea of having a job or a career that you love because your first card out here is the heart card. This is emotional spending. It can be joint finances, being supported. Yeah, I'm getting this strong energy of receptivity. It wouldn't surprise me to see maybe the Empress or a couple of Queens, but specifically the Queen of Cups in your reading today. Now, it's not gender specific, but I am getting here going with the flow and feeling more of that flow this month versus more resistance. And some of you, yeah, there was some resistance that you were feeling, maybe even micromanaged at some point. I am also getting here with the rose card, you have these kind of energies are similar. So this can be financial relief, being content, being in a supportive role. Look at that. Both of these have the word support. Supportive role, and then over here you have uh, being supported. So there is some sort of either divine help or divine support. Bottom of the deck, you have the Buddha card. So this could be divine intervention. Maybe we'll see that Wheel of Fortune here, because I feel there's a turning point happening here. Knight of Swords, there's action this month. And even though flow and receptivity is more of allowing the universe to, to kind of work its magic, there it is. There's the star. So being able to receive that healing, some sort of tower moment may have occurred in the past Capricorn because the, the star comes after the tower. There's some, some sneaky stuff. Uh, maybe it was betrayal or it was someone trying to get away with something. Seven of swords. It's in the deep past though. It's something that did happen within your foundation. Queen of Swords showing up in the recent past. So you're definitely looking to the future and attracting new companies, new organizations, new partnerships that are going to help you grow, not ones that are going to hinder you. And there's the divine angelic presence coming up in your near future. Let's look at Capricorn's energy. We're just getting all your cards out here before we dive in. The devil. Okay. The devil with the seven of swords. Some of you are dealing with someone who was very sneaky, or this could also be freeing yourself from a toxic situation. And you are. Three of Wands showing up in your environment. You're moving on, but you're supported as you take the steps to do so. What do we have showing up in the hopes and fears? Hopes and fears. And final outcome. We're going to pull another one for final outcome, although I like that one there. But I'm... There we go. Thank you, Spirit, because of the way it came up. So we're going to take these three. So starting off here, you have the heart card. This is maybe you counseling, guiding others. Some of you are spiritual influencers. This is about having a job that you love. It doesn't matter what that job is, Capricorn, but if you love what you do, that is very important, right? Who doesn't, I mean, I feel that most of us go into an area of our career because there is an energy within us that, that wants to grow. We want to learn. We like it. We enjoy it. We want to master it in some way, shape, or form. But some of you, you lost that passion or it felt like you were betrayed or you couldn't quite focus on your heart's desire because of maybe survival, because you needed to pay the bills, because you just got stuck in a situation. And I feel like that's what you are kind of coming out of here, Capricorn. And some of you, <coughs> you've had, excuse me, you've had a, cu a couple of maybe tough years behind you. And I see that here, but things are starting to look up uh, come, you know, springtime here in the northern equinox, uh, maybe fall in the southern, but I feel like there is a new season. And that's what I'm getting at. There's a new season, just like 
with everything, you go through the, the highs and the lows. And I feel if you've been going through some challenges here, I feel like things are really starting to take a turn. And maybe that's why I'm getting that wheel of fortune. Now, the cutlery card is showing up here in your present position. And this is about needing more money. I mean, who, who doesn't, I mean, we could all use a little more money, but I feel like you're also being mindful of the money that you do have and what you're spending it towards. You're looking at what's going in, what's going out. But I see here that you're coming up with new inventive ways to maybe make more. Okay, maybe more work. Maybe you are side hustling here. This can be you being a sole provider. Maybe you do have joint finances of some way, shape or form, or you are the breadwinner. I also feel like you want to live a life where you're living well. I mean, Capricorn, you are a hustler in that way. I feel like you want to set yourself up for success, not just in the moment, but long term as well. And in the near future, you do have the rose card. So I see that there's going to be some sort of financial relief here. Some of you, this is about, yeah, being content instead of being in that energy of needing more or feeling lack of. You're either shifting something within you that is going to feel more aligned, right? More in flow. And this is going to actually allow you to grow, right? You're going like from that flow energy to grow, flow and grow. And that's what we see here is the rose growing. It's opening up. There's something within you that is opening to new beginnings or opening to abundance, you may be opening up to other people even with the two of cups coming in. This is job security. And some of you, you didn't quite feel that in the past or you didn't, you may even still be struggling with it because this is your outcome energy, the rose. But I feel with the Buddha card, the clover, and yeah, some sort of ending that maybe you've endured. This is what's going on subconsciously or it's, it is something within you where you've gone through a rough patch right? You've gone through that rough patch, but it was to help you reinvent yourself because a lot of you are healers. Maybe you work in hospice, you work in the medical field, uh, the holistic field. Maybe you were even out of work. I'm getting commission work for some of you. Like you got paid when the job was done or you got paid uh, a different amount each time or something of that nature. But you went through that and now this is underneath, so this isn't showing up in your energy, but now you are really turning to your, your life purpose or you're being divinely guided, right? With the Buddha, this is more than just money. It is spiritual wealth. And for those of you that are attracted to these type of videos on YouTube, <coughs> excuse me, you are highly in tune. You are highly spiritual Capricorn, even though you're an earth sign, you're keeping it real. But at the same time, you are trusting in your higher self, your higher power. And there is going to be, you know, a time for you here to take that risk, roll the dice, right? Risk something of yours. And I feel like it's risking your, I don't want to say risking, um, I don't think it's physical. I don't think it's material. It's something within you that maybe you've kept locked or you've kept hidden, right? It's something that you had to heal before you felt like you could take another risk at it or another go at it here. And that's why you have the clover coming in. All right. Some of you are, yeah, taking a look at your spending. You could work in financing, accounting. You may work with numbers because I see a lot of numbers here. Maybe you're going in for a mortgage or a loan or you're looking at taxes. I mean, April tax season. So perhaps you're looking at uh, how much you need to pay in or how much you're receiving back. For a lot of you, I do see here something with uh, financial support. So there, there could be, you know, write-offs that could be support. There could be, you know, refunds that could be support. So for others of you, I just feel like you are looking at your, your numbers. And even if your numbers aren't quite where you want them to be, I feel like you are doing what you can internally, right? To do the work in order to manifest more abundance externally. Yeah, there's new assets or, uh, excuse me, new interns coming in here. We have assets here as well. So some of you could even be getting a new vehicle, a new work vehicle, maybe a new work computer, a cell phone. I'm getting technology here. Uh, I could even be, I mean, this would be pretty extreme, but like a Tesla, okay? Or some sort of maybe a hybrid vehicle. 
I do feel here that there's people that want to help you out. Some of you could be teachers. Maybe you teach people that are younger. Maybe you are the student. Uh, the student and teacher oscillates throughout life, right? Sometimes you're the student, sometimes you're the teacher. But I feel like if you've been taking on a lot, you're hiring either interns or you're hiring an apprentice or someone who can grow with you, grow with the company, grow with uh, the business. And maybe that's you coming on board as maybe not so much as an intern, but someone who is new, right? Although I don't see any pages, I don't see new beginnings. So I feel like this could be help coming in for you. And maybe that's that two of cups showing up where there is going to be partnership here in some way, shape or form that you don't have to do it all by yourself. And maybe that's been a struggle in the past. <clears throat> yeah. Excuse me, we have micromanage here. So you may have felt like someone was micromanaging your money or you may have felt like they were looking over your shoulder, taking that magnifying glass and fine combing through every single little detail. And I feel like that was really stressing you out here. That could have been that devil or that seven of swords. This can even be self-scrutiny, right? This can be you taking a look at all your work and then doubting it or second guessing it or second guessing yourself. That may have come from that devil, right? If that devil is you, it's like the devil is in the details, right? And that can drive you mad. It can drive you crazy. So I see that you're freeing yourself from that, or at least that's something you're wanting to work on. Some of you are working from home. You're multitasking, taking care of the household, taking care of the bills, the family, the food, the grocery shopping, the housework. I think I said that twice, but this is about you maybe having the dream of, working remotely or working from home, or maybe some of you want to get out of the home. Maybe you wanna go back into the corporate world and start to mingle or see people. I mean, whatever it is for you, this is a, a power, powerful time to turn those ideas of yours into reality. And you can juggle up many things this month, but make sure you're not spreading yourself too thin. Starting off here, we have the Knight of Swords. He is a go-getter. He's very assertive. When he wants something, there's no stopping him, right? Knight of Swords energy is someone who rushes towards what he believes is important, whether it is a call to action because of a, a project he's working on or if he sees something he wants, he goes for it, right? Knight of Swords is a warrior. He is a hero. He's confident. He's assertive. He's direct. He can be a little blunt, but I feel like this could be someone coming towards you. Maybe it's you wanting to run away from it. I kind of get running away, <coughs> excuse me, running away from a situation here where you, what are you running away from? Some sort of toxicity. And even though it's in the past, it's like, I'm, I'm also kind of getting an energy of trigger, but you are in need of a hero, or if you feel like you need a hero, become your own, right? Because you are powerful. You are a magical you have a lot of abundance in your energy a lot of love so yeah we see one of those queens that we talked about here uh, we see the queen of swords but i would much rather see the empress or the queen of cups i mean i love the queen of swords don't get me wrong but it's about you feeling that support and i just feel like you may at times be running away from it or maybe you feel like you're not receiving that support so you're running towards people who are helpful or jobs that you love, right? The swords can be very caught up in their head. When they have an idea, uh, they go for it. And when they, they feel like something is true for them, they're going to go for it. Now, is this true for you or is it a trigger or is it, you know, some sort of rough patch that you're wanting to run away from? I mean, nobody wants to be low on cash. No one wants to be out of work but I feel like you are reinventing yourself and that's why crossing your path, you have the star. When the star shows up here for you, Capricorn, this is all about inspiration. When the star shows up on your path, this does come after a tower, after some sort of big change that had occurred in your life. Now, I also get with the star energy, this is guidance, this is healing, this is hope and that's part of that, that Buddha energy that we see here. So I feel like you are being divinely guided. Uh, do you believe that to be true for you? This is about you being on your divine path. And maybe that's what you're running towards uh, is your divine path. Now, if some of you 
I'm, I get the opposite. It's like you want something so bad because it's stuck in your head. Where spirit is saying, if there is so much resistance, are you following your divine path or are you resisting it? Okay, that's a big message for some of you. Because help is here. Support is here. The star is right here. And sometimes the star can be broken dreams. Uh, or it feels like something has, you know, been maybe even taken away from you. And I feel, or taken a long time to manifest. Because we do have the temperance here, which can be timing. But I am seeing with this star, this is about you moving forward in that energy of wealth, spiritual wealth, life purpose, right? More than just money, as we talked about. And the star is healing on all levels. Physically, financially, emotionally, spiritually. It is about a renewed sense of faith after loss. Yeah. I feel like that's what you're taking a look at here is, uh, okay, what's my, what's my passion, my purpose? How can I move in that direction? How can I take action towards that now that I've opened myself up a little bit more to being intuitively guided and to touch base with what my heart truly desires and wants? Now, below you, you have, <clears throat> excuse me, the Seven of Swords energy here. So something sneaky, I mean, this can be the card of self-preservation, doing what we need to do to live in a home, to pay the bills, to put food on the table. And that may have been why you were hustling here. And maybe it wasn't exactly what you wanted, but I feel like you're coming into that position here of receiving support from the divine. It's like all your hard work paying off here, Capricorn. And the seven of swords, if this was someone sneaky or deceptive, because this can be less than ethical, I feel like in the past someone was up to no good. There were a lot of wrong accusations or wrongful accusations I'm seeing here with the seven of swords. This is about not wanting uh, maybe to be hurt or to be left out, but you, you still felt someone's impact of their selfish behaviors with the Seven of, of Swords. I also see someone may have been lying or hiding something, but that is being put out in the open here. Okay, maybe you got hired for a job and they said, yeah, Capricorn, come on board and we'll give you a raise in six months. And then eight months is here and you still don't have that raise. Or maybe they said, you know, we want to partner up with you, but then keep pushing it off. It's like empty promises is what I'm hearing here. Empty promises. And in the recent past, you just got sick of it. And you said, no, I see through your BS with the Queen of Swords. I mean, you can't lie. Look at her. That guy is trying to run away from the Queen of Swords. And she's like, oh, no, you don't. Right? I see right through your BS shenanigans. And so you've seen through someone's mask. You've seen through someone's lies. You can't get anything past that queen of swords. And this person tried to get something past you here. Uh, I don't feel like this is you, but if it is, I feel like it was you being locked into self-preservation mode and maybe doing what you needed to do, whatever that may have been in the past. Maybe you had to work at McDonald's for a year, right? Maybe you had to, you know, go on welfare or food stamps or something here to take care of your family. And I feel here in the recent past, you are moving on and you are saying, I need to trust my intuition. I need to do what's best for me with this queen of swords. This is about integrity. This is about honesty and staying humble, staying humble. I just heard that loud and clear. And because you're moving on, look what you find. Look what comes in. Once you stop resisting or once you get out of this resistance energy, which I still see you a little bit in it because you have the devil showing up. Once you stop maybe even obsessing, the devil can be obsessive. Or dealing with the devil, whatever that is here. Then comes the two of cups. That's coming in right above you because you're listening to your intuition. Yeah, two of cups is a divine partnership. In business, it's a divine partnership within clients, within maybe you and an organization, but it's two becoming one. It is collaboration. It's two energies coming together for a greater cause. And I see that there is going to be someone, maybe this is the energy of the divine, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. It is uh, this Buddha energy. I feel like I feel like spirit is bringing you a partnership, collaboration, or connection that is part of your path to kind of help you move past whatever the Seven of Swords devil energy is, manipulation. 
narcissism. Uh, yeah, when the Seven of Swords shows up here and the devil, that can be a very abusive or narcissistic person, uh, very controlling even. Now, in the near future, you do have the temperance. I love the temperance. Even though it's a slow energy, it's about balance, right? It's, it's, and I wouldn't even say slow. It's not about being slow, even though a lot of readers can read this as, you know, a patience and timing card. It's about divine timing. It's about not needing to necessarily know how things are going to play out in a year from now. And it's about not looking to the past. It's about being in the now and being present and being able to find that balance. And this is one of the tarot cards that have the angelic energy right behind it here. So I am getting here that you are divinely protected. You do have angelic assistance. You are someone who does connect to the spiritual realms with this temperance energy. This is about compromise. It is about maybe self-control. And someone around you may at times completely go to extremes. And I feel if this seven of swords and devil is someone you're dealing with, they go to extremes. They don't know how to find that balance. And that may be a lesson for them to learn or for you. I feel that you are being protected and you're kind of getting yourself. That's what's going to help you get yourself out of that devil. Because the devil tends to kind of take all your energy away and focus only on one thing that may not be the healthiest of things. Right? That devil can lock you up and say, I don't want you thinking about the, anything else besides this. It can be very obsessive, very greedy, very uh, self-centered, very selfish. And it can also be addictions, right? The devil can be addictions. I don't necessarily feel that here with this devil. I mean, it could be for some of you. This is your energy, Capricorn. But it's also about fears, obsessions, manipulation, codependency, and materialism. And I feel like you... With it being your energy and in your position, you want to free yourself from those fears. You want to free yourself from maybe some sort of self-preservating energies or trying to get away with things or people who are trying to get away with things or sneaking, manipulative, lying. Uh, I feel like the devil is showing up here and you're refusing to take the devil's hands. I mean, look at this guy. He's like the green-eyed angel, right? Coming in, but is he really? He may be masked. He may be wearing some sort of a mask. And maybe you realize it. And I feel like you do. You absolutely do with the Queen of Swords. She th sees through it. She's intuitive. She is very observant. And uh, you can't lie to her. So she'll come face to face with that devil. No problem. Sure, devil. Come tempt me. She has been tempted by the devil, but she's learned because she knows what's on the other side and it's not pretty. And so I feel for you, you notice the red flag and look at there's actually a red flag there on the Queen of Swords. And she's looking to the future here and she's learning from the past, but the devil's holding out his hand and on his hand is a puppet, right? Being controlled. You're not taking the devil's hand this time around is what I'm getting. And you also have the backup of, of spiritual energy here. I mean, we always do, but you may be calling in the angels. You may be working with Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. Uh, you may have even had a, a, an experience where maybe you yourself had seen the angels. Maybe you've meditated and had some angelic energy come in. You are very gifted as well, Capricorn. The angels are with you. Now, in your environment, Three of Wands... Yeah, I love this Three of Wands. Look at her. She's holding her surfboard. She's looking out to the sea and she's ready to catch that wave. Now, she may have been sitting there for a bit, but she knows that that wave's coming. And I feel like now that she's made a choice that she's ready and she doesn't have her back turned, she's not in that indecisive energy anymore. She knows what she wants. She's looking to the future and she's waiting for that wave to come in because it's the perfect weather, right? It's the perfect environment for that perfect wave. And that's what I feel is coming in here with the three of wands. You've made some choices. Now this is a return on your investment. Stay optimistic, stay patient. Your hard work is paying off. So don't take your eye off the wave or don't take your eye off the prize. Okay, don't look to the past because all, all that needs to happen is that devil comes in and says, follow me, look to the, look to the past or let's get distracted, right? And you turn your back 
and you miss the biggest wave of, of your life, right? Of her surfing career or her, you know, I just feel like you are being guided to not go back to a situation that held, held you captive in some way, shape or form. That could be a thought. It could be a belief. It could be a job. It could be a person. It could be a substance, whatever it may be that kept you ha uh, captive, where you kept missing out on that wave. That's what you're freeing yourself from. What's going on in your hopes and in your fears? King of Wands, some big boss energy here. Now, King of Wands, he's a world traveler. He is someone who's a go-getter. He's all in. And he is someone who really actively strives to build their empire, right? The King of Wands is definitely, I mean, all the kings do, but he is that fire. He's that passion. And Capricorn, I feel like you are ready to face anything. Look at that strong Leo lion energy in the background. So through your own courageous acts, through your own bravery, through your own adaptability, he has the lizard on his shirt. I like, I call him the lizard queen, uh, king, but this is about you pushing through and doing what you need to do to work your way towards the top. But it's not in a way of greed. You know, I don't see him in reverse, although this is your fear. So maybe the greed of others, maybe the ego of others, or maybe being inflexible or bossy. That can be the reverse of the King of Wands. But I feel like this is you taking charge of your destiny. This is being passionate, goal-oriented, driven. He can be an entrepreneur. I mean, he can be the CEO. He is someone who, if he has an idea, he's going to make it happen. And I feel like that's where you're at. That's your hope. But the fear is staying, maybe uh, staying in someone else's dream, right? Maybe you're building someone else's dream or helping them. Are you creating or building your own, right? Now, final outcome. The card that came up first here was the Page of Pentacles. I like this because this is a new opportunity manifesting in the physical world. It could be manifesting here. A message, okay, there could be news coming in here, maybe of a tax rebate, some sort of incentive, a check, uh, this can be a financial win, a job, right? This is a really good energy of money, hearing about money coming in. So I like this. Now it is partnered with the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So we see here some sort of news coming in that's favorable. Then we see action. And that is the Knight of Cups with the Two of Cups. So you're going to get that offer. And it's going to be an offer that you can uh, trust. But I feel like there is still a little bit of defense. There's still a little bit of your guard up because of what you've gone through. And that's why we're paying attention to looking at that wave. Don't turn your back to something because that devil comes calling. And if that's the, you know, the devil calling, get your Queen of Swords energy on here. And say, I see through your BS. Because I feel like there's two, there's two energies that you're feeling pulled towards here. And trust your heart. That's why your first card out here, Capricorn, is the heart. Yeah, Nine of Wands is you coming to the end of this, this difficult period, right? This is finding that spiritual strength, discipline, and courage. So don't give up because you're so close to this finish line. I see the, the message right here, the opportunity right here, the offer right here. Uh, you're not going to give up. Yeah. Even though you've been wounded, because this is the wounded warrior, you've been scabbed, you've been burned, you've been, uh, you know, kind of cast out at times, but you're a fighter, Capricorn. I mean, that's what I love about you guys is you are determined. Uh, you, you have this fierceness, this strength within you that is admirable. Yes, you do. <clears throat> All the Capricorns I've ever met are fierce, but they, they love so deeply as well. And I feel like that's the love coming in here for you, but you're willing to do what you need to do to, you know, rise to the, the rise to the, what is that called? Like rise to the occasion. Yeah. You're going to rise to the occasion here. There is new opportunities I see for you on the horizon with that three of wands <clears throat> excuse me maybe some of you are doing something bold and adventurous maybe it is surfing maybe it's skydiving maybe it's you know getting out of your comfort zone in some way shape or form is actually going to be very beneficial to you i would love to hear that if that's you and drop it in the comment below let me know what are you doing that's that brings about that energy of 
fierceness and determination. If it's an adventure or if it's something new that takes you out of your comfort zone. You have here milk and honey, the milk and honey card, card 51. Some of you may be 51 years old or you may be a six life path or even in a six personal year or born on the sixth. The taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing abundance and trusting that your needs will be met. How do you get the rainbow, Capricorn? You got to go through the storm, right? The storm brings in the rainbow. And I feel like you've definitely gone through the storm here. And there's only one authentic you. This version of yourself is spirit's emissary in the world. <clears throat> Excuse me. When you're in alignment with the truth that you are a unique expression of the divine, your ego can rest. And your soul can illuminate your purpose. Now is the time when you're seeking your true north. When you find this direction, you automatically step into prosperity and the world brings you evidence of abundance. Miracles are a choice and a way of seeing the world. With every choice you make right now, you have the potential to seize good fortune and embrace your destiny. Opportunities will lead you to your best life. Be open to them. You're getting a sweet taste of what you want. Beautiful. Yes, you are. Finally, finally, after maybe a long time of coming or a long time of waiting or just dealing with this seven of swords energy. And I don't know about you, but I've seen so much of this uh, on maybe social media or just hearing from uh, clients of mine that the seven of, of swords is coming up even maybe now more than ever with the eclipse season coming in and making a choice because that's part of free will is making that choice to become bitter or better, right? To be in the land of milk and honey or to be in the land of the storm, right? The storm is going to pass, but do we want to stay sheltered even when the, the storm has already passed us, right? The protection message is this, a nameless unease compels you to turn to pleasure and comfort as a means to escape what's really going on. Hello, devil, right? He is the, na the nameless unease, but we'll call him the devil. It works in that moment, but only fleetingly before the feelings return and you need to re-up until you're exhausted, feeling worse than before. You may continue struggling or you may see the light and choose to surrender to spirit. Now is the time for practicing extreme self-care. If you can, do so before you engage in behaviors that you'll regret later. You are so loved. You're so cared for. Feel love and compassion for yourself. Turn your troubles over to the divine for healing. That's all that counts right now. Wow. Yeah, that definitely uh, goes hand in hand with your reading and what we've been talking about here because you are in the land of that milk and honey. And I love the elephant there as well. Elephants are very wise, right? They, they are very knowledgeable as in um, they take what they've learned, right? They take what they've learned and they turn it into wisdom. They're very bright. And I feel like this is you. Some of you, uh, I'm also getting, and this came up in another reading as well. I don't know if it was this card. I don't think it was this card, but it was an elephant. And I'm getting Ganesh. Ganesh is the remover of obstacles. And she's the elephant deity that has, you know, I think six hands or eight hands. And she's going to remove, help you remove these obstacles one by one. So some of you may want to do some digging into Ganesha, the deity of remover of obstacles, because I feel like that could be part of your spiritual healing and awakening and a spiritual support system that helps you on this path. All right, let's get a few messages from your spirit animals. And at this time here, Capricorn, I just ask if you can, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from your solar plexus chakra, the belly area. And with your eyes closed and upon your exhale, I want you to tune into that third eye chakra. The area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I'd like for you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. 
Perhaps your animals are wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. Perhaps your animal is a pet that's crossed over the rainbow bridge. Maybe one that's currently at your home. Maybe one that's visited through your dreams or even crossed your path in the great outdoors. There is no right or wrong answer, Capricorn. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your power animals in the comment section below the video and I will personally enter you into that giveaway where I draw one winner around the first of each month. So please make sure you've hit that bell and subscribe button so you don't miss that notification. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting a message here around the throat chakra. My throat is acting up in your reading specifically. So, and this makes sense as well that that came up as I see your first card out here. It says, watch your words, or maybe it's about listening to the words of others or paying attention to the quality of your own self-talk. Now, some of you, this is Parrot. Some of you may be 45 years old, 59, 43, or born on the 27th, or maybe you're 27, but I am getting here uh, being mindful of how you communicate. Communicate with spirit. Are you open to your intuition? Are you open to, you know, talking to yourself in a compassionate, grace, graceful way? So watch your words with the parrot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Starfish, card 59, open to infinite possibilities. That's what this year is all about. Infinity, infinite possibilities. And it's time for you to start believing in them. Start dreaming up these ideas and going towards what you want because spirit is saying you are limitless, right? Limit yourself a little bit less today because you are, you know, you are the star. You are what star stuff is made of. Owl spirit, you can see clearly. Yeah, this is the energy of, of being able to move through those obstacles. And I'm hearing that song, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. And we were just talking about that with the storm. So you're able to see things now in ways that maybe you weren't able to see before, especially with Queen of Swords showing up here for you. So if there was some dark clouds looming or if it was foggy or you had a sense of uncertainty, expect things to kind of flow more because you're able to see that light at the end of the tunnel. We have fox spirit. Think on your feet. Think on your feet. Yeah, you're going to have to be a quick thinker, especially when that devil comes in and you come face to face. Right? Think on your feet. Try not to allow yourself to overthink things. Otherwise, that could be a blind spot for that devil to come in. Yeah, you know, trust your first gut instincts here. I'm also getting a message uh, around honey, um, honey, and we just seen that milk and honey card. So maybe some of you could really benefit uh, from drinking tea with honey, or maybe you are creating or making your own raw honey. Okay, or maybe that's beneficial. I know honey holds a lot of antibacterial, uh, uh, really great stuff, right? Antioxidants and just some good stuff in that raw honey. So for some of you, look into that. That could be beneficial for you on, on many different levels. Now, last but not least, let's get a message from your soul's truth and see what your soul wants you to focus on at this time. What do we have here? What expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? The expectations that we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet. We then experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship when they are not met. It's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. That devil can be expectations as well. It can take away from your infinite opportunities of abundance, right? Seven of swords, devil energy. If that's parts of your own archetypes, right? The wounded parts of you, maybe expectations come in and it kind of steals your joy. It says here, be grateful. You are being summoned to more peace. Peace is home for our soul and it is accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. 
If you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience extreme fulfillment. Yeah, and we have that energy here. I thought it said fulfillment, right? This is being able to be supported, feel supported, but most importantly, trust, because that trust is what creates support. So I'm loving this for you, Capricorn. I don't mind seeing the devil here uh, because I feel like this is you and it's showing up in your energy. And because we also have the three of wands, I feel like you're not going to be tempted because the queen of swords in your past, it's like you've learned some very valuable lessons. And some of those lessons are who to trust and who not to. Okay, but it's not about shutting down trust altogether. It's about discernment. It is about you being able to open yourself up to trusting intuition. And I feel also they're highlighting that moon or the, the sun. It could be even an eclipse, which we have an, a major lunar eclipse showing up at the end of March. I put these out a little bit early, but if you're watching this in April, you may want to go back to what was going on around that lunar eclipse because there could be exposures showing up within you, within your career, within other people. There could be globally a lot of things coming to the surface, hidden truths, right? But you're not falling for it. You're not, you're not falling for it. You're saying, yeah, I kind of expected that to be the truth or I knew that I could see right through it. Queen of Swords sees right through it. But the good news is you are attracting a partnership that you can trust. You are moving on. You have divine protection. And I feel like the angels and the, the spiritual, your spiritual team is bringing to you this collaboration that is for your highest good. It is going to be beneficial to you on your wealth your career, and your abundant journey. That is what I have for you. I hope it resonates, Capricorn. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, subscribe. Do drop your power animals in the comment section below. And thank you so very much for tuning in. Lots of love.